Hey viewers, welcome to the summer 2024 edition of Watch the E-Globe. I'm Johan from Colombia. And I'm Laika from the Philippines. Catch up with us and see where the difference begins. Welcome back viewers and welcome back to us, Laika Chi. Yoshim, how are you? Yes, I'm Johan Chi. 네, and I hope our viewers are too. Can you believe it? It's already half through 2024 and so much has already happened since last semester. Things have been heated up, both figuratively and literally. Now that many of us are working on our respective research papers, things have undoubtedly been heating up this summer. With everyone hoping to catch a break, this is a good opportunity to catch up with KDI School. First order of business, let's talk about the new professor who joined our school this summer semester. On one hand, assistant professor Ji Sun Yu, who graduated from Pohan University of Science and Technology, and professor Song Hyo Park, who graduated from Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, better known as KAIS, from their PhDs. Both have recently joined KDI School to grow the data science program. On the other hand, we also have Assistant Professor Trin Pham from Vietnam, who is also a KDI School alumna. Having graduated from KDI School with a Master of Public Policy in 2015 before joining Cornell University for her PhD. Exciting classes will come our way, especially for those in data science and development policy program. Let us welcome Professor Ji Sun Ju and Professor Song Kyung Park and hear what their thoughts are about being new KDI faculty members. Hello everyone, my name is Ji Sung Yoon and I'm very excited to join KDI School at Data Science and Public Policy and I'm looking forward to prospect student and the future collaborating public policy in this school. In this school, I'm going to teaching about the fundamental programming with the Python and specifically, I, I'm going to focus on the posturing the control thinking, not only for the, the program skills, so the student can using their own skills for their own problems. I've been studying about the science and technology policy with using the massive data and machine learning and AI. And moving forward, I'm going to explain my research area with the applying data science in public policy in more general. If you're interested, please join my class or visit my office. And thank you for listening. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. Hi, everyone. My name is Hong Kyu Park, and I'm very pleased to join KDA School from this July. At there, I've known great accomplishments that KDA School has made so far. So it's my honor to be here and uh, meet all of you. My research interest, health sciences, natural language processing, and AI theory. So if you have any research questions to, to solve by using AI or machine learning methodology in terms of public policy domain, please feel free to visit me anytime or please email me. In this fall, I will teach AI ethics. At that class, we will use various case studies to deal with human biases or data biases or algorithm bias, not only based on uh, ethical perspective, but also from a uh, technical perspective. So if you find any interest, please come and join my class. Thank you. During the summer semester, representatives from the Women Leaders, Human Rights, ASEAN, and African Development Forums participated in the annual KDI Sejon City Talent Donation Classes. These classes are a fantastic way for us to contribute to the local community while enhancing our cross-cultural communication skills and building lasting connections with local students. The topics cover including gender-inclusive design, freedom, and self-determination, soft-power diplomacy, and multiculturalism, and Diversity. The Talent Donation Program aims to positively impact our community by providing educational information to local high school students. As forum volunteers, KDIS students could share their knowledge and talents, fostering cross-cultural understanding while making a meaningful contribution to local high school students and boosting their global competency. Laika, let me tell you something. We all know that KDI students are recognized for their academic performance, but do you know that aside from their academic commitments, most of students are actively involved in extracurricular activities? Of course, Johan. Whether with the forums or clubs, most students were involved in many activities during this summer semester. Uh, just to mention a few, the Women's Forum held an enlightening 101 session with the KDI's resident nurse Kim to address women's health concerns. 
and the ASEAN Forum, in collaboration with the Writing Center and Voice of KDIS, held a seminar where students presented their research studies related to ASEAN policies and shared their insights into the region. Plus, the Latin American and Caribbean Forum had the visit of the Ambassador of Peru in Korea as a guest speaker for a dialogue about sustainable development in the LAC region. At this event, two guest speakers from the Dominican Republic also joined to discuss statistical capacity for development with a global focus on the 2030 Agenda. And let's not forget the collaborative event that the Frisbee, Volleyball and Female Football Clubs held. An exciting trip to Techon Beach. It was a great way to refresh in the middle of the summer semester. Our experience in Korea is absolutely one of a kind, and we are glad to be able to share that with others. Last June 28, nine students from KDI School's partners, George Washington University and Spelman College, visit us in a networking event hosted by the International Cooperation Division. Here, KDIS student representatives offered our visitors an insightful glimpse into the life of an international student at KDI school by sharing their experiences from academics to our Korean cultural immersion. Do you know what else makes our experience at KDI school unique? School events like the... The talent show held last July 19th. I actually don't know what to say because the quality, creativity, and element of surprise that many of these performances had just took my breath away. And I absolutely agree. You know what? I am so floored to have seen our friends out of the classroom and on the stage singing, dancing, and performing their hearts out like we have never seen before. From soulful songs and stand-up comedy to various modern and cultural dances, this year went above and beyond to show that our students got brains, beauty, and talent. Let us once again give a hand to all the performers, organizers, and all those who made the event a success. And speaking of oh-so-sweet success, how does it feel to be this year's first place winner, Johan? Along with the rest of your team, of course. Certainly, anyone could have won. But to see what made this year talent show winners Passion Latina stand out with their powerful Latin dance performance, let's watch this interview. Thank you to all that made this possible. We're really thankful with everyone. Actually, in a, I think at a certain level, we can't believe it. We practice hours and hours, leaving late from KDI, coming early to KDI. We practice a lot, and this performance is full of our passion. And now, let's talk about some of the amazing field trips our KDI students participated in this summer semester. On June 21st, students visited the Electronics and Telecommunications Research Institute, or ETRI, located in the Tedok area in Tejon. ETRI is a public R&D institute focused on cutting-edge technologies such as 5G+, 6G, AI semiconductors, and more. But that's not all. After the insightful visit to E3, the students enjoy a pottery class at Hanungan Atelier. Under the guidance of an experienced artisan, students learned the hand-building technique and created their own unique pieces. And just a month later, on July 21st, Koika students had their summer semester field trip to Buchon City, where they visited institutions related to the arts and film industry. The Buchon Art Bunker B39 is part of the Buchon Visual Culture Complex. They also visited the Korea Comics Museum, where the memories of 100 years of Korean comics can be experienced. These field trips not only provide educational insights, but also offer students a chance to unwind and experience the cultural richness of Korea. Surely many exciting things happen during this summer semester, but one of the main highlights that we cannot forget was the completion ceremony. In a bittersweet event, we celebrate the completion of the academic journey of some of our dear colleagues. It's always a mix of emotions to see them leave. Absolutely, Johan. But it's sad to see them go. It's also incredibly inspiring. These graduates will now make a difference out of the classroom, applying what they learned here at KDI School to enrich their profession, their communities, and the world. They've worked so hard, and now they're joining a vast network of professionals who are making impactful contribution globally. We are proud of them and excited to see what they'll accomplish next. And we wish them all the best in their future endeavors. Remember, you will always be a part of the KDI School family. 
At KDI School, our goodbyes don't have to be sad, as we have a vibrant alumni community that engages with the network through various activities. Last July 19th, we held the third Korean Alumni Knowledge Forum, where we were honored to invite former Deputy Prime Minister and former KDI School Professor Yu Il Ho to discuss art, management, and economy at an offline event in Ojiro, Chungu, Seoul. In other alumni news, we have now achieved 60 alumni associations with the recent addition of alumni associations in Iraq and the Dominican Republic. That surely is a testament of the growing global community and impact that KDI School has to offer. Here's the Iraq alumni representative to tell us more about it. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to introduce myself. This is Radar from the Kurdistan region of Iraq. I have a master's degree in KDI School for Public Policy and Management in 2013. Excited to apply my knowledge and skills in a professional setting. I have 15 years of experience with the public sector, private sector and international agencies. Currently, I'm working as an economic policy advisor with the GIZ, the German Agency for Development. Also, Iraqi Alumni Association are for to foster a sense of commu uh, community and connection among graduates of educational institutions and future candidates. These associations can provide networking opportunities, support professional development, and contribute to the development of success through fundraising and advocacy. Finally, last July, 18 to 19, the class of 2004 celebrated their 28th anniversary by gathering here on the Sejon campus of KDI School and then visit their old campus back in Seoul. Wow, 20 years? Isn't it amazing to think that they still kept in touch after all these years? Before we know it, Johan, we will be like them too, changed and charged for the future. Our experiences in KDI School are truly one of a kind, and our students as well, no less, have been done it all from academic to extracurriculars. Now, it's time to relax and recharge this summer break. Majayo, Johan Shi. While we get our much-deserved rest, let's meet each other again on the next Watch the Eagle edition to see what other exciting opportunities may fall on our laps this coming fall term. Catch up with us then and see where, where the, the difference, difference begins. begins. Annyeong! Annyeong.